Sylvia, very nice to uh, talk to you. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what new treatment options there are for lung cancer patients? So I believe that in the last uh, 10 years uh, we have uh, new options because we have uh, chemotherapy based uh, on the histology and that uh, was... What does that mean, histology? Histology is the type of the disease. So 10 years ago we had uh, one therapy fitting all the patients. Now we have uh, some therapies that are more indicated for adenocarcinoma and other ones that are better for squamous carcinoma. So I believe that uh, this is a new concept uh, in the personalized therapy. And then obviously we have the targeted therapies that is a different concept, uh, is again a personalized therapy, in this case uh, based on a marker, so on a, on a specific characteristics uh, of uh, the disease that could be the EGFR receptor, that could be the ALK rearrangement. These are uh, strange names that means that in the disease uh, there is uh, one target that I can reach with a specific drug. So this means that there are actually different types of lung cancer that each warrant a different treatment. Is that true? Yes, it is correct. So we have this uh, big disease with big numbers, but it is true that every patient is different from uh, the other one. Is different, uh, obviously, because of the age, uh, because of the clinical status, uh, because of the comorbidities, but is different also because of the disease characteristics. The name of the disease could be adenocarcinoma, squamous carcinoma, small cell lung cancer, but uh, to that we have to add some characteristics, uh, and uh, on the basis of uh, all this information, I can decide a specific uh, uh, therapeutic approach for my patient. So what does it mean when a new patient comes to your, into your office? What do you do to assess you know, what type of lung cancer it is and what treatment options do you now have available? So it's important for a patient to understand that unfortunately the first steps are really important. So be patient. Uh, be patient mean uh, wait the time sufficient to get uh, all, these, all the information. We are not starting with an antibiotic with the aim uh, to reduce the temperature. We are starting with a really important uh, treatment. So we have to get a good diagnosis and a good diagnosis means that we need enough material from a bronchoscopy or from a biopsy to get the information about the type of the disease and the characteristics of the disease. When I got this information, I can decide that the therapy, but these first steps can, uh, um, uh, I, I need for this first step uh, sometimes that, yep. uh, that could be 15 days or 10 days, but uh, be patient because these information are really important to decide the better therapy for you. And if, if you're treated as a patient and one drug doesn't work for you or you have severe side effects, are there more options? Yeah, nowadays I have more option. Uh, nowadays I have uh, several opportunities, so I will check the efficacy of this drug through the CT scan and I can change the first drug uh, if uh, I will not reach the result that I was expected. And the same uh, could happen when the tolerability is not good for the patient. When, when so there's too many side effects. Yes, I have to change the drug yeah. or I have to reduce the, the, the doses or sometimes mainly for chemotherapy it could be that I have to change one drug with another one just to reduce the toxicity and to be able to continue with the treatment. And in the last, uh, you're saying in the last 10 years we, we got a lot more options. What are the most important new options that you have now as a doctor? 
I believe that uh, we have uh, these new chemotherapies that I mentioned. So, for instance, uh, I have the opportunity to use pemetrexid for adenocarcinoma because it works better in adenocarcinoma. I can use... Uh, platinum-based therapy plus bevacizumab, that is an anti-angiogenic compound. Again, it works better in non-squamous disease. So again, the choice is based on the type of the disease. And then I have the opportunity to use also some pills that are targeted drugs, but these are specifically for those patients having some characteristics. So not for I everybody. Can, not for everybody. That is not uh, uh, good or uh, or uh, a bad news. It is a specific drug for one patient. Uh, I mean, uh, I cannot use uh, hypertension, anti-hypertension therapy for a patient with a diabetes. Right. This is exactly the same situation. I yep. have to use the right drug for the right patient. Yeah. Yeah. And immunotherapy, what does that bring in the in the Yes. Classroom? So this is uh, uh, again uh, a new uh therapeutic approach in the thoracic oncology. I have to say that in, uh, in this field uh, we are waiting for some results. We have at least one drug uh, that is nivolumab uh, approved in uh, squamous carcinoma in a second line, but we have several other immunomodulators that are now under investigation uh, in several clinical trials. So the other point uh, is uh, it is important for a patient to get the best drug, but it is also important to have the access to clinical trials, so to know very well which are the centers in which, if I want, if this is my desire, I can uh, also get some uh, new drugs that are still under investigation within uh, a clinical trial. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks a lot.